I'm using a Rapido sketch pen and it's waterproof ink. You can refill the cartridge. Uh, it comes with a bottle of ink that you could refill the cartridge. And I'm also using um, sable brushes. I'm uh, using a pit pen, uh, one of the gray tones, to put in some shadows. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to come back in with color or not, because I do like just the um, tonal values and get some motion across the surface with it. So pit your gray. your uh, thin lines were pit, and also. Um, the thin lines were a pit like pen, but it's made in England. Well, I used a um, Pentel uh, 0.5, I think it is, pencil, and um, uh, the first wash uh, was just to hold where the shadows were so I didn't lose them as the sun moved around. And the brushes are uh, actually the Escoda uh, travel brushes, which oh. are, they're okay, but I, I like a firmer brush, but uh, it is what it is. But um, now that it's going to dry, I can, can start coming in with modeling of some of the actual shapes um, oh. of the uh, building and stuff. So I actually have to find out, what's the name of that house? That's a Christian house, so this is what it'll be. And then after I'm done, I'll write some notes about who I met in the day and so forth like that. A little, a little travel on so oh good idea okay okay thanks you're welcome thank you uh, I started out with a pencil and then I went over it with it kind of loosely trying to be loosely loose and uh, then I'm using an isby travel brush which I love and I bought it for six dollars and it's been a wonderful brush. Wow. I love it. What size is that? I think it's a six. Okay. Yeah. Oh huh. it's a six. But it's a great brush. I use it all the time. Okay, great. Thanks Alicia. We're starting okay. with pencil, we're going to ink over that, and then um, I'll make a decision about throwing some color. I think I will, on the trees and back, just to give the house some definition. And okay. I'm still working on this, I don't know what to do with this yet. So, okay, thanks Mary. Yeah. Okay, you asked me uh, what I used to draw, and I used this graph gear. Uh, it's just a, a drafting pencil. It's a point nine oh. that I really like. I forgot my eraser today, though. Mm -hmm. um, and then my brushes, I use a half-inch Princeton Neptune, which I really like. It holds a lot of water, and it, there's a little point here that works really well. And I use uh, an Escada Versatile. Uh, oh, this oh. is a number two. That this draws really fine lines real well. And I like it because it's a travel brush. If I'm traveling, it doesn't get ruined. Oh, good. Um, and then I use a uh, number eight Princeton Neptune round, and this has a nice point to it. It holds, a little, it holds water. Okay, well, um, this is the Christian house here in Heritage Park. And what I started with, I started with a pencil sketch, and uh, I forgot my eraser, but then when I <laughs> teach kids to draw, I tell them they can't have an eraser, so um, why not? And then, so I, I laid out a basic sketch in pencil, went over it in pen, refined the drawing just a little bit, uh, and now I'm using uh, these uh, Derwent watercolor, water-soluble pencils, and this isn't a uh, very good paper for putting water on, but I'm, I mm -hmm. might dissolve them later. We'll see. Okay. And there are some limitations, as you can see, to the colors in the pack. So I'm combining them. You need red-brown. Here's red and brown. And you have the combination. 
Okay, so uh, sometimes you just leave it dry and sometimes you wet the pencil? Yeah, sketch? I kind of, I it starts out dry obviously and then I, um, I might put a little water on it, see where it goes and if it doesn't go in a good direction then I just leave it dry. I'm doing a pen and ink drawing and I'm using a Micron Permanent Ink 03 and I'm concentrating on getting the lattice work at the moment. I finish the main bulk of the building, the windows and the turret. And now I'm getting into the 